Hello everyone, Tracy here from Crochet Rocks and it's time for the Willow Square Crochet Along. And this is my Willow Square. I don't know if you can tell the difference between mine. There are not big holes in that. Um, so um, I'm going to show you how we do this. Now for this tutorial, um, the Crochet Along, should I say, I'm going to use these yarns and these come from Sainsbury in the UK. They are DK weight, um, and I'm going to use two 100 gram balls of each. They have the washing instructions. Um, I'm just looking for yards, but I don't think that this displays the yardage on here. Um, so many don't, which is a bit annoying. But this is 100% acrylic and machine washable. So, um, I've made a few of these mauve coloured ones already, so I'm going to start with the blue. And uh, I'm going to do this particular part one, um, showing you how to make the square in two parts, because there are, there are two, where's the end? There are two quite distinctive parts to this um, granny square, and um, Part two is the more tricky part, so I think we'll tackle that in a separate video. It will still be how to make the square and I'll do that today. Um, but for this tutorial, as I say, we're going to make it in these two colours. I've got two 100 gram skeins of this. I'm making this cot size and I also have um, some of this. I have two balls, but I think I shall only need one white. So, um, first part of this um, is actually quite simple. Now you just make your slip knot however you want to make your slip knot, but I do have a tutorial which is how to make the um, an easy version of the magic ring, magic circle, magic loop, whatever you want to call it, and a slip knot. So once we've got our slip knot, we will chain five. Now this tutorial is not for the beginner. So if you want to familiarize yourself with the stitches involved in this tutorial, which are chains, slip stitch, and a treble crochet in the UK terms, which is a double crochet in the US. So once we have five chain, we can slip stitch to form the ring. So there we are, and we'll chain two, just to get up to the height of a treble crochet. So um, I'm going to do a further 15, because these two chains will count as our first. So we're going to do 15 more, making 16 into this ring. And I'm gonna pause the video while I do that and I'll meet you back here. So we just want 15 treble crochets. I'm going to refer to the UK terms throughout this video. Just remember in the US, that's a double crochet. And I will meet you when we've done that. Okay, so I'm almost round. I have two more to do, but I just need to pull this aside to do them. And that's fine. I've crocheted over my tail as I've, uh, as I've gone, which is good, so I don't have to do that. So now we're at the end, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our first two turning chain. If I get this tail out of the way, and just slip stitch into there. Now we have the ring and for this particular round, we are going to increase, but we're not going to increase our number of stitches. We're gonna do it with a chain. So instead of two chain to turn, we're going to do three. And sorry about the door rattling, it's a little bit windy. So in our first treble, we are going to do another treble. And one chain. And then into the next stitch, one treble and one chain. And we're going to do that in every stitch around, repeating one treble in the next stitch and one chain. So I'm gonna pause the video again and I will meet you back around there. So remember, at the end of that row, you still want to have um, 16 stitches, including the two turning chain. So I've now made my way all the way around and 
if you want to count them and gently pull them out so that they don't look like a wheel. I've done that already and I do have 16 and I've finished with my one chain. So I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain of those first three chain. And that's um, formed my ring again. So now you've got this. And now this next round, again, we're going to increase, but this time with treble crochet, just pulling out some yarn. So our first stitch is our two turning chain. And then in each of our gaps, we're going to do two treble crochet in just into the gap. And then we're going to do one into the stitch. So you might want to pull that aside and find that stitch. Sorry, knock the camera. I'm resting on the yarn. Sorry, let's pull some more out. Okay, so every gap, two treble crochets into the gap, and then one into the actual stitch. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So for now, we are still working in the round. I'm just going to carry on all the way around. So I'm going to pause the video and again I will meet you back at the start. So I'm nearly back at the start again. Um, just to check, yes I did do my one stitch into the post which we must never forget. And so carry on until you get right to the end. Going into two in there and so we'll finish on our two into the gap because this one was our first stitch. So we're just going to slip stitch into the second chain that started it and we have our ring. So that's where I'm going to leave this particular part of the crochet along and going to film in a second the part two because part two is way more intricate and so you might want to refer to that a few times. So I figured if I did it as a separate um, tutorial, then it would be easy for you to just keep referring back to that one rather than trying to timestamp it and have you try and find a timestamp. So that's how we make the circular part of the uh, willow square. So I'm just going to um, say goodbye for now. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications of the next parts of our crochet along and all the other um, giveaways and tutorials and chats, live broadcasts, everything. So um, thank you very much. I will see you very soon.